Hello, kids of St. Paul's. This is Miss Kelly again. We are here for a Sunday school lesson, and we always start by singing. We're going to sing this song that I have written out right here. And I will start, and you can jump in and sing along with us. Jesus loves us, this we know, for the Bible tells us so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves us. Yes, Jesus loves us. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. I hope you enjoyed singing along with that. <clears throat> We're going to go straight to praying now because we have a longer Bible lesson to do. Some people fold their hands like this. I usually fold my hands like this. And then we get our bodies ready by taking a deep breath. And then I will start our prayer. <sighs> Gracious God, Thank you for bringing us together today, even though we are together through remote technology. Right now, our world is still feeling scared for an illness that is going around. We pray that you will keep us safe and healthy and strong. Thank you for moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, and brothers and sisters, and aunts and uncles and family and friend, and all those people who are so important to us. Please keep all of them safe and healthy and strong too. Thank you for doctors and nurses. Thank you for grocery store workers and all of the people who work in drugstores so that we can get all the things we need to stay healthy and strong. Thank you for our lives. Each life you have given is so precious. Thank you for today that even though we can't be together in the same room, we can be together through our hearts and our spirits and our remote technology. Amen. Today's story is from our Read With Me Bible. I use this Bible because it has such great pictures. And I have my special bookmark marking a place, so I'm going to open that right now. <clears throat> Starting on this page here. Jesus died on the cross. You see, this is Jesus here. He's carrying a very large cross. He's being guarded and marched by some soldiers. Turning the page. Now this page is very, very dark. Jesus died on the cross. There were two criminals who were killed right beside him too. Turning the page. And then Jesus was buried and he was placed in a large tomb, which is kind of like a cave, but it's a place for burying people. And a large stone was put in front of that tomb. You see, the stone is so big, it's much bigger than the soldiers who were guarding the tomb. So far, this part of the Bible is really sad, kind of scary. Turning the page. Jesus 
appears. I think I skipped a page. I'm going to go back one. Yes, there we go. There we go. And notice how these pages are so light and bright. The empty tomb. The empty tomb. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the entrance. As they entered the tomb, they saw an angel dressed in a white robe. The women were afraid. Don't be afraid, the angel said. You are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Go, tell his disciples and Peter. The women hurried away from the tomb. They were afraid, yet filled with joy. And they ran to tell the disciples. This is the amazing story of the resurrection. So this is a picture of the angel who came to tell Mary and Mary. One is Mary Magdalene. The other is Mary, Jesus' mother, that Jesus was not in the tomb, that God had raised Jesus to new life. That is called the resurrection. Jesus is raised to new life in the resurrection. And the promise all of us have from God is that we too will be raised in the resurrection to live in heaven forever when our life on earth is over. That is the power of the resurrection. Praise be to God. Thank you so much for being here and hearing the Easter story, the story of Jesus' resurrection from the dead and the power that God has over death to bring all of us to everlasting life in heaven. Goodbye. Have a good day.